I wanted to get a drink and I came back to this. I thought something else would happen. I don't know why I thought something else would happen, but... Uh, you want all of us or just him? Just him for now. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'll meet you in the student council room. You know I will. You know I will. Uh, what is gonna happen is not what I want to happen. <laughs> kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him. Probably some big, important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, I not worry too much. Yeah, you're being paranoid. The high muckety mucks don't need us. Might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. What the fuck? Have fun sweeping the hallway. Man, that's a horrible rule. Where did that rule come from? She better make that shit up, because that would be a horrible rule. Oh, this person sucks at being responsible. Now it's your responsibility. Fuck off! There's something you have to know. Oh, punch him in the you throat! you the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? Yes. I don't mean to alarm you, but... The fact is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. She was dead. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. Hey, see, come here. Come on, come here. You're just gonna lie in my doorway? Okay, hey, that's what you want to do. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. Okay. For the past few weeks, She's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. Okay. I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yuri. Tell him. You see, she's probably... <phone rings> Mitsuru here. I, yes, I understand. I can tell him. What, what's the problem? Tell him. That was the hospital. It's kind of important. They say she's just awakened. What the fuck? It's unbelievable. But although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. She Jesus! Iori? Did I hear that right? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? Why would we try to, like, trick you when we don't even know you're out there no, listening and eavesdropping, you cocksucker? She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But, Iori, she probably... Chidori? Chidori's... alive? <laughs> uh, hey, Junpei, what about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? It's gonna be awkward. Connor right now, it's gonna be awkward. Why is my TV huh? buzzing like you that? You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to stop. What the in. fuck, TV? Stop it! I agree. I don't even know if you can yeah. hear it, but I can hear it, and it's annoying the shit out of me. It's gonna give me a headache. Oh, I thought that was Junpei. I was like, what the fuck? Why did he put on a lab coat? <laughs> huh? Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it? You? She's not gonna remember I'm you. Not dreaming. Calling Am it. I dreaming? It's true. It is you. Chidori. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's a killer. I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. 
They were your friends. Oh, uh, I wonder if she like lost her persona. And then because of that, she forgot all the dark hour shit and everything. Friends? Okay, my TV is freaking the fuck out. And it needs to stop it. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet. But it seems I don't remember any of the past. Like, the picture just got darker. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori. Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. Okay, one sec. Let me see. Let me see if just changing the inputs will fucking. Fi I mean, I know it's the PlayStation that does that. Ah, that didn't do any good. All right. She remembers everything that happened. Cool. The end. But as for you all, Iori. Nah, I think. It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills. When you're having a nightmare, it ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? Uh -huh. She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flowers she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it, it may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. Power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? Yep. That's how doctors we do. We're talking about how you want to live now. They just talk like you're not there. <laughs> huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Look to your right, woman! Supposing you do find him and meet him. What then? I want to bang him! That's... Oh, yeah! That's none of your business. Dude, fuck this TV right now. Chidori. Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori. H hey, why are you crying? Dude's crazy. I, I, I can't help you it. You put a restraining order on him. <laughs> this is seriously the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear that. <laughs> seriously? Seriously? See, now it's stopped. Why did it stop? Maybe it's because the picture went blank. Now, like, when the picture comes back, it's going to go nuts again. Except, dude. Eh, not really, but still, I am going to. I'm gonna reset all this shit so that hopefully. Hopefully, that goddamn buzzing sound goes away. No, it's still not gone. Alright.